In today's video, I make a fish and anemone guard for the Ecotech MP40. This was long awaited after making the guard for the MP10, and I finally got around to doing it. So stay to the end to see where you can get your hands on this guard for yourself. Welcome back to IC Live. My name is Mark. Jumping straight into today's project, here is the wet side assembly for the MP40. A few months ago, I made a guard for an MP10, and then since then, I've gotten a lot of people asking for the MP40 and MP60, which is coming next. So now that I got the box open, this thing is brand new. I didn't actually have an MP40, so that's why this took so long to do. I had to purchase the wet side assembly, which I don't know what I'm going to do with once I'm done with it. Uh, but here it is. This thing is pretty sweet. I love these pumps with the magnetic coupling. Now to twist these off, you have to twist them in the opposite direction. So you're used to twisting left is off, right is tight. In this case, you have to twist to the right and then the front cover comes off. Now the guard that I create is going to go in place of this front cover. So I'm not going to need this front cover when it is all said and done. Here is the MP10 design. So I'm gonna be making something very similar to this. And if you watched the last video, you got a good look at it. This thing is pretty freaking sweet though. So let's get started on the design. With the guard design nearly complete, I wanted to print this test fit out right here just to make sure that the connection points from the guard to the pump are fitting properly. So I'm going to go ahead and give this thing a little test. The fit is snug, but I'm going to twist it. Oh, got to twist it to the left and it fits in, although it's a little loose. So I'm going to go ahead and make some adjustments. All right, I got the second test fit printed. Let's go ahead and get this other one off and give this one a try. A little bit less snug to get it over the top. Twist to the left and much better. Now I'm ready to move on and finish the rest of the guard. is all finished up and ready to print unfortunately i still don't have the print camera set up so we don't get to witness that but we do get to see some of my iphone footage i do have a quick flashback to the mp10 print time lapse so here it is Look at that. That looks great. I just got to get some supports off this thing, clean it up. Probably going to have to use a heat gun because PETG loves to string. And it is really stuck on that build plate. So I'm going to go wedge this thing off. A few moments later. And here we go. Wow, this thing turned out so good. It really looks awesome. Let's go ahead and get this thing on the pump and give it a test fit. That rear structure looks so good. All right. It is. It's great. It fits on just like it should. It's staying locked on. Um, however, I did notice some spots that I can improve on. So I'm going to make the bezel a little smaller. I'm also going to reduce the size of it as far as how it sticks out. So it connects to the impeller just a little bit better. So let's go ahead and make those changes. Six and a half hours later. Fast forwarding and here are the two finished prints. Both of them work, but if you notice the one on the left was the first print. 
The one on the right is the slightly smaller print. I was able to make it a little bit more compact, so it's just slightly shorter, and that front rim slash bezel is a little bit thinner as well, so it wraps around that impeller just a little bit better. This one as well fits on the pump perfectly and looks so good. And this was just the second print, so I was able to nail this on the second time around. However, what helped out a ton was those test prints in the beginning to make sure that the fit was going to be perfect. Otherwise, I would have taken forever and had to reprint this thing, you know, four or five times just to test it out. Now, if you can notice here, I'm putting it up against the box. Unfortunately, the light's a little messed up. I'm trying to show you how the MP40 sits on the glass and leaves this gap between the glass and the guard, allowing water to come in and through this little grate structure in the back to not restrict the flow. So even though the fine mesh structure on the outside of the pump is super small and could possibly get clogged, water can always go out and around the back and fly in through the back so it doesn't restrict the flow at all when most anemone guards do. Last up, you can see right here, here's the difference in the size of the guard. So it's not all that much bigger, but it tapers back toward the glass. This guard is officially done. So to get your hands on this guard, you can go ahead and get it on iclive.com. I've also got an Etsy store, and when you place the order, you get a PETG printed version of the guard. It's professionally printed, not by myself. So the quality is pretty good, although it will have layer lines and it will still have some minor flaws, but that won't affect the function of the guard. Last up, for those of you that can print it, just shoot me a message and I will send you the STL files at no cost. These are not the easiest files to print, but if you have experience 3D printing, I have no doubt that you can get a quality print. It might take a few tries, but we will get it done. That wraps things up and thank you so much for watching. Now, if you like what I'm doing, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a ton. I wanna keep making more and more cool stuff for reef aquariums. So every new subscription and like and every purchase helps me to go ahead and achieve that. Thanks again and I will see you live in the next video.